Hello viewers, special greetings to you all by your own time depending on where you are watching from on the fun side of the earth. So I want to specially greet our returning subscribers. Uh, thanks for coming back here always. And if this is your first time coming across this YouTube channel, thanks for stopping by. I want to encourage you to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel in case you are yet to do so. And do remember to turn on the notification bell as well. For that's how you know once we upload new videos, uh, like, comment and share our videos uh, with friends and families and on all your social media platforms for those are amazing ways to help this channel to grow so uh, without further ado uh, let's hop right into the video uh, which is uh, about a junior secondary school uh, female student uh, junior secondary school otherwise known as JSS um, for those of us who are from Africa we know that JSS uh, is the first year of um, uh, secondary school uh, especially those in Nigeria West Africa you know I'm sure we have the same you know uh, curriculum the same stuff going on in secondary school so JSS 1 this girl is in JSS 1 and JSS 1 typically is around 12 13 years old at uh, the youngest you will see there is probably 11 years old uh, so this young girl is already in a relationship uh, with uh, another you know a guy who is uh, also in his mid-teens from what i saw in the video the guy is um, around the age of 19 and not more than 20 years old so what we saw in the video we saw the 20 years or 19 years old young lover uh, gifting uh, the young girl in gss one a brand new car yes a brand new car so uh guys without uh before i will go uh deep into the video i would like to play like a short clip from the scene and then uh i'll be back uh with my own take on the uh matter <laughs> what you just saw do you think that guy is above 19 20 years old yeah they are both young right so anyways um a lot of people have been blaming the parents yes everywhere i go even the person that sent me the video she is like miss continental you see what the parents they do and in my mind i'm like parents can only do so much my people I know the Bible says train up a child in the way and so that when this child grow uh, it will not depart from his way but the society that we live in today you know is quite different okay uh, even in those days uh, we for those of us that are Christians we remember uh, Eli the priest right and his sons his two boys what happened to them are we gonna say Eli was not you know uh, doing the right thing was not uh, impacting was not trying to impact positive things in the life of the children and uh, even his ways the way he, he lived his life was just enough for the children to emulate but it didn't happen that way and even today in our own world we see geo's children i don't want to call a particular name this guy has been constituting so much nuisance on the social media space and we see our uh, pastor's children we see our uh, apostles children they don't come out the way we expect you know they don't represent so are we going to say it's still the parents fault and let's not forget that especially those in schools or let me say uh, in this case secondary school they stay eight hours at school and by the time they get home perhaps uh, mom is at, at work dad is not home and um, yeah because they are out there looking for daily bread remember we don't live in a society of those days where the woman is at home uh, being the primary homemaker and her role is to perform the instrumental roles and that is to be the breadwinner and unfortunately those roles have switched majority of the time you see women are the breadwinners i am not justifying that so yes while we are always pointing fingers at parenting let's also see the dynamic of the world that we live in today the, the shift you know in the, in the roles okay so i, I mean I think that has a huge role to play 
and also i don't think there's any parent that will want to train a criminal i mean that want to bring up a criminal child a prostitute or people like in chidema you know no no parents want to raise children like that but at the end of the day there are times that children are are grown and their own destiny has to be in their hand and then with god's guidance okay not everybody's going to be a priest not everybody's going to be a lawyer not everybody's going to be a doctor you understand so um at the end of the what about orphans for instance let's talk about orphans we see orphans growing becoming great people great personalities in the society so i beg maybe they take her easy they blame parents sometimes the society has a great role to play and the society that we live today is a society that exaltify that that glorify riches that glorify materialism so even if you are teaching your child one thing at home the child is seeing so much stuff on the social media space or are you going to lock a child of like 12 13 14 15 16 even 16 out of facebook instagram twitter call all the names of all the platforms is that possible in the age that we live in today is that possible even in the classroom the child sees other classmates right other people you understand so we are constantly bombarded the children are constantly exposed to you know things in the society that influences them so not all let's stop blaming parents i mean to be fair this time okay and uh let me uh take our mind back to choma because choma is a role model i mean when i'm talking about choma i'm talking about um uh, davido's uh one of davido's baby mama so and uh, even this baby mama of a concept that is so acceptable now those days it was a stigma now it's just like you know the common thing so uh choma the uh one of a uh, baby those uh, baby mama remember some time ago where there was a kind of um, controversy around the uh, what one of the ladies on the view uh said about you know choma dropping out of school to run after a man uh because of materialism and that god forbid that she has a child like that she she did not even finish making the statement before that the freeze came out to bombard to lambast her and since then everybody quiet and i'm not even sure that that woman will even come out tomorrow now and say things are in that same line you understand but uh, what's his name again daddy freeze came out and said that you know what who is the view who is she to come out and say things like that that um choma's what is more than aha uh -huh, that the view all the view put together choma's what is better than them that the freeze went to like as far as you know talking about um each other's followers you know followers as a standard of measuring morality and success <clears throat> now wow so he went up um, there are things you see on the social media space sometimes you just want to talk but you just like you don't want to take this personal and i'm someone that is very passionate in what i believe in and i also understand that i cannot impose my beliefs on people so sometimes there are some issues i just suffer see my lips i quiet gently so anyway that the freeze came out to lambast this lady and said chama's followers fan base you know is more than the view all together put together and that choma has so many cars and started reciting uh, and i mean and that the freeze forgot to also note that a lot of young things are looking up to choma who may also want to take the same line of being a baby mama and of living that kind of life so anyway so that's to to say how society now glorifies materialism society glorifies anything that will give you fame society glorifies money not training anymore so and the other children they are seeing these things they go out there they see these things and you know you can only force a horse to the river you can't force a horse to drink water and if you are not careful you might even lose that child if you try if you keep if you keep if you keep because this child is constantly bombarded with the things that they see out there so i think rather than blaming parents on things that relates to this like this let's also put shit some of the blame to society what is being um what is being advertised there what is being glorified and that said and we have people in authority in power to kind of you know act as check and balances on what you know uh people owns on uh on you know uh material things for instance in the western world if uh you uh 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 
a civil servant, you are a businessman and all that. You know, there's a way, the system, there's a way to know how much you earn. And how much you earn will determine the amount of properties that you own. So if you are somebody that have an estimated income of like $100,000 a year, and they see that, you know, the things that you own on a yearly basis, new things that you acquire on a yearly basis, like the 200000 I mean, somebody will write you a letter. Somebody will, will check on you. Okay? So, but in our own uh, world, I mean, in our own society in Africa, Nigeria to be uh, specific, we have people like EFCC. I would say in, in this wise, they are not doing their job. See, EFCC are supposed to be the one to kind of control all this, you know, influx of money like you know how you make money and how you spend and what you own but they are not doing it rather their target is on opposition politicians and that's where you see the people that ESCC mostly come uh come uh after are people uh, uh that are opposition so the ruling parties and occasionally they come after so-called yahoo boys and all that and it's most of the time we don't see the end of those investigations so our youth are just getting away with things like this in a civil society how dare you a boy a young man of um uh 19 18 years old gifting uh a girlfriend of 13 14 i mean 12 14 13 years old a car i mean how how, how you want it to happen like how the child will not even conceive of it but right there i saw people cheering happy praising and her classmates are watching what is going on and what do you think is going to happen to the classmates of course they're going to be on the search for another person that can provide them with those needs they're going to be in search and even other guys are going to take the bull by the horn to do everything possible to also meet the needs of their own girlfriend because i mean who want carry last nobody so rather than bl blaming parents sometimes i know parents have their own role to play as well but society as well we have people who can tame our behavior who can tame our how we spend money who can tame how we how we behave our social behavior yes we have people they need to brace up to their responsibility and make sure these things are controlled because before they go out of hand if you are discussing with any typical nigerian person Okay, guy, for instance, everything you'll be here is how you want to do business. Money, money, money. It's just money. Nobody wants to take it the hard way anymore. Everybody wants money by crook or by crook. And the girls, people like Chidima, if you engage them in conversations, what do they want to do? They want to ride cars. They want to live good. They want to have the latest hair wig, shoes, bra. It's all about materialism. Nobody cares about, you know, good behavior anymore nobody cares about decency anymore look at chioma somebody like daddy freeze coming out to justify her behavior so anyways uh, i don't want to go into details i don't want to go further than this but what i just want to us to know here is it's not always about parenting because there's no parent there that uh, want to train their children to become prostitutes or to become arm robbers how to become dropouts or, or to become baby mamas but these kids they eventually grow up they mix up with other kids out there and i mean they are exposed constantly bombarded by you know things globalization is not even helping matters you understand industrialization everything call it any name you want to call it so and nigerians i mean our own society back home people that have the mandate to be able to you know act as check and balances you know should be able to brace up with their responsibilities control you know i mean our behavior our lifestyles and try to i mean be dev into a source of income a source of livelihood because the your source of livelihood your source of income should kind of corroborate the expenses that you i mean the 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 amount of money you spend you understand so there should be a correlation between what you make and what you spend and if there's no correlation if something is missing then i think 
then the, 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 the people in power should come into it. That is the only way that we can control all this madness that we see out there on the social media space. This is just my own two cents on it, guys. And again, you have the right to disagree with me. It's your own prerogative. And I always welcome very constructive ideas in the comment section. And we are all learning from each other. And I'm open to uh, learning from you as well. So feel free to leave your comments, your thoughts, your reflection on this matter, what you think. And I will be glad to respond uh, to you. Uh, so, yeah, I think uh, I will draw the curtains on today's broadcast. Thanks for watching, guys. And if this is your first time uh, coming across this channel, don't uh, hesitate to just click the button to subscribe. And if you are always coming here and you haven't subscribed, please uh, do me a favor. Just click on the subscribe button and uh, I will catch you on my next one. Thanks for watching once again. Bye-bye.